in town. Good afternoon. I'm Ann Carpenter, the Youth Services Librarian at the Brooks Free Library, and I'm here to talk about some of the great things we have going on at the library this summer. Um, one of the best parts about the library during the summer is, of course, the summer reading program, where every time a child reads for two and a half hours, they can come to the library and they can get a free book and a small prize. And they can do that as many times over the summer as they want. So some kids will take them the whole summer to read that two and a half hours. We, other kids, they come in every single day with their two and a half hour things. Um, when you sign up, what you do is you get a bookmark that has a number of different um, pictures on it. And then you can color in or cross off one of the pictures. Each one represents a different unit of time, depending on the bookmark that you get. When you fill them all in, it shows that you've read two and a half hours. And you can come down and get your prize and your free book. It's a great program, and all children are eligible, whether they live in Harwich or not. Um, also during the summer, we have a fun program just about every day at the library. So we're going to start off by talking about some of the things you can look forward to this week from July 3rd through July 12th. Um, on every Monday, we have a program called Creative Movement that is great for preschoolers. Um, our friend Lisa Canto comes in and runs the program. It's got a lot of different um, improv aspects to it and music and is a lot of fun. Also for preschoolers on Wednesdays at, um, or, I'm sorry, on Fridays at 1030, we have um, story time, which is a great program. Um, and on Tuesdays at 1030, we have a program called Mother Goose on the Loose, which is for babies, toddlers, and preschoolers, where we do lots of singing and instruments and lots of fun. Um, for all of those kids who are home on summer vacation and have a bad case of the boards and are looking for something to do, we, we can absolutely uh, connect with you. On Wednesdays, every Wednesday at 2.30, we're going to have a Build It Challenge. The theme of the summer reading program this year is Build a Better World. And in keeping with that theme, every Wednesday is a Build It Challenge. We're going to bring in a whole bunch of different um, uh, supplies and give the kids a challenge. So this coming Wednesday, um, Wednesday, July 5th, the theme is going to be building bridges. So I'll give the kids a whole bunch of different materials and say, all right, your challenge is to build a bridge that is X, X feet wide using just these supplies. And then the challenges um, have levels. So now it needs to be longer. Now it needs to have a heavier weight on it. Um, and one of the reasons we do the multiple levels is so that a variety of different kids can come and everyone will be challenged, but everyone will also succeed at their own level, um, which is a really great way to do it. We're also excited on Thursday, we're going to have process art for kids. And the great thing about process art, the sort of the theme of that is it's the process, not the product. Sometimes when kids are asked to do art um, at camps or schools or things, it's all about making 25 perfectly identical products. Um, in this one, everyone's going to look completely different. It's a way for kids to be able to explore materials or explore processes that they might not have explored before. So we're going to be doing a lot of really weird and unique things like um, you know, painting with string or with bubbles or things like that. And then on Friday, every Friday at 2.30 is going to be our Crafty Friday for um, kids. This week we're going to be making climbing creatures. So we'll make a little creature and put them on two strings and when you pull the strings, the little creature climbs right up the, uh, the two strings, which is kind of fun. And that's a great one for a wide variety of ages. If they're very young, they're going to need a little more adult assistance with the scissors and things like that, um, but we welcome everybody. If you have a middle schooler at home or a high school student and you're thinking, oh, sounds like there's a lot of programs for the young, don't worry because we have plenty of programs for tweens and teens as well. Um, in Harwich, middle school runs from 5th through 7th grade. So when we say that it's a middle school, high school program, we mean 5th grade and up, entering the 5th grade. And July 3rd, this upcoming Monday, is our first middle school maker of the summer. Um, and it's going to be rock painting. So we're going to have a variety of different rocks, lots of different paint, um, and we'll create some different rock paintings. We can either paint them up as... Um, little creatures, or you can do some of those inspirational rocks that have been really popular lately, um, whatever your tween or teen is feeling like. And then upcoming July 10th, um, next Monday, we're going to be doing slime. <laughs> and I know um, we're very excited because since 
a lot of tweens and teens have already made slime. We're, gonna, we're taking it to the next level, and we're going to be doing a variety of different kinds of slime, including magnetic slime. Um, so it'll be, you know, you get a strong magnet, it'll move around with the thing, which we're super excited about. And then next Tuesday, July 11th, at 2.30, we're going to have Big Ryan's Tall Tales come in. And he is a magnificent storyteller who comes in and tells stories for preschool through elementary school aged children. Um, some of the stories are funny. Actually, they're all funny, really. <laughs> some of them are sort of pseudo scary. They're not actually scary because um, they always end up. As a, as a funny ending. And he is a great storyteller and people who have come and seen him in the past, he's got groupies that follow him <laughs> sometimes. And that again is the July 11th, Tuesday at 2.30. Um, and that brings us to July 12th, which is a Wednesday, which as I said, is gonna be a Build It Challenge. And that Wednesday's Build It Challenge is gonna be boats. So again, I'll give the kids a variety of different materials and a big bucket filled with water and they're gonna have to build something that Le challenge level number one, something that will float, and then challenge level two is to float a certain amount of weight, and then challenge levels three and beyond will be more individually tailored to the child. So we're looking forward to a great summer with lots of building, lots of reading, lots of crafts, all kinds of good things. Thank you.